Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So Blood and Glory has come, it's gone and we got some amazing reveals when it comes to Warhammer 40,000 but I think the biggest reveal wasn't actually a reveal, it was a teaser, it was Mephiston. Now GW have confirmed for 100% Mephiston is coming. So I want to talk about his potential pose, I want to talk about the potentiality of him crossing to becoming a Primaris Marine. I personally think that, um, well, 99.9% .9 convinced that Mephiston will be become a Primaris Marine, but there's people out there that say, no, he won't be. He'll just be staying as what he is now, just an updated model. So um, we can explore that and talk about it. So let's jump in and let's get started. So let's start with Mephiston's pose. What is the potential pose of Mephiston? Now, as soon as the trailer, well, teaser trailer went live the other day, um, on my Discord, I was pinged about this. I've saw it in many places as well. Another place I've saw it is Bolt and Chainsaw. The chap who actually posted it over on Bolt and Chainsaw was called Dead Fingers. And um, he referred to the pose as being this piece of artwork by Mark Gibbons. Now, this was, this is, this is, well, how old is this? Is this like second edition or something like that? Um, this, this is going way back. Absolutely way back in time and if you compare this piece of artwork to some of the stuff that we saw actually in the trailer then i think that this artwork this piece of artwork will indeed be the pose of the upcoming mephisto model everything goes with it like the way his swords angled the little vials on his string the way he's um his capes blowing in the wind and um, if we stop it and you can see like his face you can actually see mephiston's face in the trailer it's shown briefly just for a second he like flashes on and flashes back off but you do see it and you can kind of see his hand next to his mouth like can trying to like wipe his face and stuff like that so yeah i definitely think that this piece of artwork by mark gibbons is what the 3d artist or the model maker has and um, based Mephiston off. Now, um, for me, I love it. I think I think it's a great piece of artwork. I think it'll be a great pose. I've seen that some people say that mm, they're not too keen on this piece of artwork. They would have preferred a more in kind of like a rage kind of battle pose. But I think it's I I think the pose is nice. I think it shows off Mephiston. I don't know if he's like wiping his mouth with blood or like something's dribbled off him or he's kind of in thought or something like that. Um, yeah, it it. It could be anyway, or however you want to perceive it. But again, I think it's a pretty cool pose, and I'm 99.9% .9 convinced that this is going to be the pose of Mephiston. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Mephiston is supposed to be coming in the third part of the Psychic Awakening series, which is apparently coming in December. So not that long, really. We've only got, what, a month to go? Well, I say technically two months, because it was more or less at the end of December. So more or less two months, which is kind of amazing, since the way that gw is doing this they are just absolutely throwing the psychic awakening books out like the next one faith and fury is going to be uh, out at the end of this month so it's it's really is one of these things where it's like okay a model after model after model book after book after book um and next month well i'm sorry not next month january is supposed to be the whole space wolves versus orc stuff so it's going to be very interesting to see what they, they get on that front but at the end of this month then uh, november the 30th is the big 40k date at warmer world i am not attending sadly none of my friends are going and i don't really want to go there on my own like a I don't know, just like a wet lemon. Um, so um, I'm not going to be going to that, but that is where he's going to be um, unveiled and he's going to be shown off in all his glory and stuff like that. So probably around 10, 9, 9-ish to 10-ish on the Warmer Community website, they'll post a big article and we'll see in there, we'll probably get a trailer and um, a little bit more information. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we may get some new rules because if he does cross into the Primar Primaris format, then surely he will have to get buffed when it comes to his rules. Now, this is like the next big debate now. Will he be receiving the Primaris upgrade? Will Mephiston be crossing the Rubicon and embracing the new way of life when it comes to the Space Marines? Um, some people are not convinced. They say, no, he's just going to be a new Mephisto model. I can see it. I can see GW doing that. But logically and business-wise and whatever we've seen in the past from GW themselves is more or less stating that everything futuristic for the space marines as a whole is primaris cal guy is now primaris you got tall garadon you've got you know the white scar guy um you've got uh you know um adrax you know all these big characters that are part of the uh, firstborn space marines 
are stepping over the threshold and they're all becoming Primaris Rubicon. So it only makes sense business-wise and logically-wise that GW will keep this going with big characters like Mephisto and hopefully, fingers crossed, Dante when he, ever he gets a bl bloody brand new model. He's he, he's the next model that deserves something, but again, this, that's not, it's not dedicated to him. So I personally think that Mephisto will be getting the Primaris format and I think he will be crossing the Rubicon and we'll see a whole different well i say different side but a whole different stat side to the mephisto model we all know that primaris um go up in wound counts and stuff like that they are made to be you know bigger better faster uh, stronger and um, i know people dislike that i know people dislike the lore of them coming around but the black library authors are doing um, um a pretty great job of um making the law a, a, a bit more um edible let's say for a lot of people you know they are fleshing them out it is taking a little bit of time but i am enjoying the process there's been some great books uh, recently and uh, one of the ones i would recommend is belisarius call the great work that really has um a really big personality in there for the primaries and the whole way of life and how they were made and stuff like that so you know if you are still a bit on the fence or you know you just absolutely hate the fence just just give that a read and maybe it'll change your mind and you know open your eyes just just a little bit now back to mephiston and his and him ascending to the primaris so um i'm gonna say i've stated that he will ascend to primaris so if he does well sorry when he does should i say i'm right back on myself when he ascends to primaris um what kind of rules will change for him he is one of the most powerful psychers if not the most powerful psyker in the imperium do you know what i'm gonna say he is the most powerful psyker in the imperium i know a lot of people say um uh, uh, tigris for the um ultramarines is up there but mephiston is on a whole different level he looked deaf in the face and he became deaf that is how much of a badass this guy is his psychic powers are just um I would say the kind of like sanguine. Well, not you can't really be primate level less, but you know what I mean. They're like top tier. They're like he's like alpha plus 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 when it comes to his psychic powers. So I really hope that GW um, show this in the stat side. I would love him to just like blast people off the board and just be completely you know scary and mind blowing when it comes to like ripping enemies apart in the whole psychic phase. But he's also a beast in melee and stuff like that. So they, they they'd have to try and balance it and apply him as a character, what he is, what power he has and put that into the rules format. The way that it's been going for Space Marines lately, they have been very, very powerful. So I expect maybe GW to break him and uh, make him just like this complete badass where everyone's like, okay, everyone needs to include a Mephiston in their army. The way that GW tend to do this, and I think it's a business strategy, I'll, people will disagree, but you know, a lot of people will agree with this, is that they, they intentionally break a model when it comes to rules, a new model, so that model sells out. It sells out, everyone goes mad about it, everyone puts it in their list, it, the word gets round and, you know, it, it is the model to have. It makes sales go up, it gives them a profit, and then in a couple of months' time, they put out a nice little FAQ and they nerf it back down to a reasonable level, and then people start throwing it across the room going, how dare you, I was having so much fun and stuff like that. But that's just really the business tactic from GW, so I expect Mephiston to be a massively broken model upon his release. Now, of course, on his release, he's going to be in the third book um, for the Psychic Awakening. This is going to be based around the Tyranids. Now, the only thing that pops into my mind straight away is the Devastation of Baal. Mephiston did play a key part in there. I won't really go in and spoil it, but he, it, it wasn't really with the Tyranids. It was more or less with demons. But um, again, there's too much spoiler, so I don't really want to go down that path. So I'm wondering... Um, if that'll be mentioned at all in this whole Psych Awakening book, if 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 that'll play into some of his abilities, um, but we we shall see. We, we I, I think I think we're gonna get more information on that book and everything around that book more or less around the time of the open day on the 30th. Hopefully they'll have that on display. Maybe they'll even talk about it a little bit, show off some rules and all that kind of stuff, and maybe go into depth what the actual book is about. Because, again, I'm just saying Tyranids because it makes sense, and the, the rumours have all stated that it's going to be Tyranids. Is it going to be the Devastation of Baal, or is it going to be like taking after the events of Devastation of Baal and maybe cleaning up 
like some of the Tyranid swarms that are still left around Baal and maybe the orbiting planets and all that kind of stuff, etc, etc. All right, Traparinos, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. Who is absolutely pumped for my first one? I, it's, again, it was it was one of the best things that put a massive smile on my face once I saw the trailer. If anything, the music in the trailer was fantastic. I think I'm going to try and um, use that guitar riff on, on, on my outro um, on this video because it was just like, oh, da -da 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 insane in the membrane. Right, that is me done. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts, comments, everything down below and we'll have a nice little discussion down there thank you see you now and bye bye <laughs>